The first Tiberium War between the Global Defense Initiative and the Brotherhood of Nod saw both sides engaging each other on battlefields across the world for control of the most valuable resource, Tiberium. Most people are aware of the conflicts between the two factions in Europe and Africa, but many are unaware of a different kind of conflict that took place on a remote island whose location has since remained undisclosed, if not outright forgotten. The leader of the Brotherhood, Cain, had received reports of odd animal behavior from this island, and ordered one of his commanders to take a scouting force to this island and investigate. I've been receiving strange reports of odd animal behavior. I want you to take some of your troops in to report your findings. As the scouting force of attack bikes, riflemen, and rocket soldiers landed on the beach, they could have sworn seeing a couple of prehistoric animals from their hovercraft as they made their way around to land on the south side of the island. The scouting force then headed east, not encountering any animals. However, after heading north through a forest, they stumbled upon a triceratops. Such a prehistoric animal from the late Cretaceous period almost 66 million years ago was believed to be long extinct. Upon noticing the Nod troops, the Triceratops moved to attack them. The troops took down the dinosaur and headed west along a river, wondering if they would counter more of these prehistoric animals. The scouting force discovered a bridge which they used to cross the river heading north, coming across a small village. The locals told the Nod troops they had also heard of odd animal behavior on the island, but hadn't seen any dinosaurs. Just as the scouting force started to head east, the village came under attack by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Another dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period, the T-Rex easily crushed some of the Nod troops beneath its legs. It then used its massive jaws to destroy one of the attack bikes. The surviving attack bikes led the T-Rex out of the village, where they could better utilize their speed and maneuverability in the open. After an intense fight utilizing hit and run tactics, the T-Rex was brought down. The survivors of the scouting force made their way east through the forest without encountering any dinosaurs. They discovered a shallow zone that would enable them to reach a small island in the middle of the river. On this island they saw a Stegosaurus, a dinosaur from the late Jurassic period, roughly 150 million years ago. Upon seeing the dinosaur, the Nod troops immediately fired upon it, assuming it too would be hostile. The Stegosaurus crossed the river and crushed the remaining soldier. The attack bikes again utilized their speed to keep their distance, pummeling the dinosaur with their barrage of rockets. With the death of the Stegosaurus, all dinosaurs on this part of the island had been cleared. The Nod commander suspected that more dinosaurs were elsewhere on the island, all just as hostile as the ones his scouting force had encountered. The commander deemed these creatures to be too dangerous to be left alive, and organized a few containment teams to land on the island and wipe out these prehistoric animals for good. These containment teams were unique in that they utilized captured equipment and vehicles from GDI's arsenal, alongside the Brotherhood's own. A small base had been established in an arid region of the island. However, contact was lost with that base, and a team of commandos was sent into the region to find the base and secure the area, eliminating any threats they encountered. Heading south using their Chinook transport to cross a river, the four-man commando team encountered a Velociraptor. Also from the late Cretaceous period, this fast-moving predator killed a couple of the commandos, whose rifles were ineffective against the Raptor. The other two commandos made it back onto the helicopter and headed back north across the river, landing near their original drop zone. The two commandos encountered a blossom tree with Tiberium around it. Nearby this blossom tree was an injured Triceratops. After easily eliminating this dinosaur, the commandos saw green smoke to the southeast, placed by those troops at the former lost base. Two Apache helicopters were stationed there, and the commandos requested the helicopters eliminate the velociraptors they had encountered earlier. The commandos then made their way to the base and stood guard there as the commander requisitioned additional units from the weapons factory and barracks. Using a Humvee to scout out the eastern zone of this region, the commander encountered a Stegosaurus just to the west of the base, and a T-Rex just north of it. The Apaches helped the Humvee take out the Stegosaurus, 
while the T-Rex was mostly dealt with by a couple of medium tanks from the weapons factory. Using the Chinook, one of the commandos flew over a river to the west of the base and scouted out the area. The commando observed many velociraptors in this zone, and called in the Apaches to eliminate them. Reaching the southwest, the commando spotted another T-Rex down below a cliff, and again called in the Apaches to eliminate this dinosaur. With the death of this T-Rex, the region was officially secure of all prehistoric threats. Over in a jungle region of this dino island, a lot of men had been lost passing through a forest, and a containment team was sent to clear a path for the safety of future troops passing through the area. Scientists indicated that these dinosaurs were not as dumb as previous theories believed, and the containment team should use caution in dealing with them. The containment team, which consisted of Humvees, Buggies, Grenadiers, Rocket, and Flamethrower Infantry, organized themselves in a clearing in the west part of the region. The team headed north, arriving at a confluence of two rivers. Crossing the river northward, the team went into a forest and ran into a pack of velociraptors. These raptors were guarding nests within this forest, so were highly aggressive toward these human intruders. The forest was so dense that the containment team had trouble maneuvering through it, enabling the raptors to easily pick off their troops and vehicles. The containment team realized the best way to deal with these raptors was to lure them out of the forest and into the open field. A buggy or Humvee was best for this tactic, as they could outrun the raptors. Once out in the open, the raptor would be led through a kill zone where they could be more easily eliminated by the rest of the containment team. At the same time, however, a couple Triceratops and even a Stegosaurus would arrive in the region and attack the team from the south. The team would lose a few troops dealing with these dinosaurs, but after the entire raptor nest had been cleared, reinforcements would arrive. These reinforcements included attack bikes, rocket soldiers, and even chemical warriors. With these reinforcements, the containment team went to work clearing out the forest across a river in the eastern part of the region. This forest was also full of velociraptors, so the team used the same tactic of drawing the raptors out one by one using a light vehicle. Once all the raptors were eliminated, the team thought their job was done until they discovered evidence of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Light vehicles searched the entire region, finding the T-Rex in the northeast. A single attack bike led the T-Rex out into the open plain in the east, where the entire containment team could bring their weapons to bear on the dinosaur. While they took more casualties, the team brought the T-Rex down, finally securing the region. The Knot Commander later ordered a containment team to establish a base in the jungle region. The team found a suitable location, having Tiberium close by to harvest. However, this area was directly in the migratory path of the local prehistoric wildlife, so the team had to be prepared to defend themselves. Shortly after establishing their base, the containment team found themselves under attack by the dinosaurs. After successfully defending their base with both infantry and vehicles, the containment team sought to clear out the local wildlife of this region. A couple of T-Rexes were located across a river to the northwest, but the team would deal with them later as they weren't an immediate threat. Directly south of the base, the team discovered a Tiberium field with a couple Triceratops and T-Rex resting around it. Another Tiberium field was located in the southwest, guarded by a couple more T-Rexes. The Triceratopses and T-Rexes were drawn out of their positions and led closer to the base where a platoon of tanks waited to eliminate them. One of the Harvesters discovered another Tiberium field in a forest west of the base, and was chased away by a group of raptors. Units were sent into this forest to clear out the raptors. After the raptors were taken care of, the containment team's units moved north, fighting and killing three more Triceratops. Meanwhile, the base was periodically under attack by various dinosaur species migrating from the north, but defensive structures such as the Obelisk of Light were able to kill the dinosaurs quickly before they could cause too much infrastructural damage. There was another forest full of velociraptors just north of the base, and the containment team had to clear them out before making their way further north. Crossing a river, another Triceratops and Stegosaur were found and killed within a Tiberium field. 
Lastly, after constructing some helipads, Apaches were sent to eliminate the two T-Rexes on the island northwest of the base. With these T-Rexes gone, the base and region were fully secured. Thanks to the efforts of the containment teams, the commander felt he was close to eliminating all the dinosaurs on the island, and claiming it for the Brotherhood of Nod. Confident in this outcome, the commander concentrated his forces at a single fortified base. We are going to have to act if we want to live in a different world. With their entire species on the verge of extinction, the surviving dinosaurs, carnivores and herbivores alike, banded together in order to drive out these human invaders. The human forces were concentrated at a large, fortified base in the jungle region. Being the fastest, the Velociraptors scouted out the entire area. They found the main entrances to the base, which were guarded by obelisks of light, making a frontal assault costly. The dinosaurs searched for another route through a forest north of the base, encountering and destroying stealth tanks hidden in the forest. The Dino Army received Velociraptor and Stegosaurus reinforcements from the east. From the north, the Dino Army could attack the Nod base, which was only defended by a few ground units and guard towers. The Velociraptors led the charge, destroying the Nod units. The flame tanks proved to be the most resistant to the dinosaur's attacks, but the dinosaurs outnumbered the flame tanks, enabling them to surround the vehicles, attacking from all directions and destroying them. With the Nod units eliminated, the T-Rex moved forward and tore down the walls protecting the base. With support from the Triceratops and Stegosauruses, the T-Rex was able to destroy a couple of the power plants, enabling the rest of the Dino Army to charge into the middle of the base. The dinosaurs tore down every building, including the Construction Yard, a Bio-Research Lab, Technology Center, and Temple of Nod, as well as unit production buildings and the remaining power plants. The Brotherhood units guarding the entrance fell back to the base in an attempt to stop the dinosaurs, but all of them were either crushed or eaten by the prehistoric attackers. A few more dino reinforcements arrived from the east, and with the obelisks not having enough power to function, they were quickly brought down, along with the rest of the Nod base's surviving defense structures. With the destruction of this base, the dinosaurs had successfully taken back their island. No other expeditions by the Brotherhood were sent there, and it's not known whether the GDI ever found out about this remote island. While the dinosaurs survived the Brotherhood of Nod, it was clear that Tiberium had already begun infesting the island. As Tiberium was known to be poisonous to life on Earth, it could very well bring about the extinction of these dinosaurs. However, other flora and fauna of Earth mutated with Tiberium, and perhaps these prehistoric animals did too ensuring their survival on this remote dino island. <laughs>